All right, so we have finished Team Affinity Season 2, Chapter 2, and we're going to be going over how, what everything that we did to finish Team Affinity Season 2, Chapter 2 in this video. Honestly, it was super, super easy. It took us around like less than six hours, a little bit over six hours, and the way I did it was a little bit longer than the way that you guys can do it, and I will show you guys what you guys need to do. Of course, I prepared for this, so it's gonna be a lot easier, a lot cheaper stub-wise to complete this because you will have to basically spend some stubs to complete this the fastest. But I did make a video about how to prepare for Team Affinity a couple weeks ago, so if you listen to that, you are on the right track. Also, we got a bunch of packs at the end of the video to open all from grinding Team Affinity, nine millionaire packs, 10 headliners, 21 ball ends and 78 standard packs all from team affinity and one conquest map all right so the first thing that we did when we hopped on today to play team affinity is we went to player exchanges and we did every single player exchange now we got these cards for quick sell price so we went for 73s and 74 overall cards at a quick sell price of 25 stubs and those are the cards that we picked up two or three weeks ago when they're super, super cheap. And a lot of times you could find these cards that cheap, especially after roster updates when cards go up to a bronze level is when you'll start seeing those at a very cheap price. So just keep an eye out on that for the next Team Infinity because the next Team Infinity is only two weeks away on August 2nd. So you can prepare for that one right now doing this. So you're going to look for... 73 74 overall players i can't show you the actual exchanges right now but you need 150,000, and 74s obviously give you the most i think they give you like 1500 or 2000 uh each one you need 150k i had like 300 i got about like 300 of each one i expected that you needed 300,000 for this one and then 100,000, 50,000, and then like 25,000. because the last one you needed uh, 300,000 for it just to show you in chapter one, you need a 300,000, 200,000, 100,000, and 50,000. So it was much more expensive to do in the last one. And you only got 15K, 12K, 7K, and 5K, where in chapter two, I believe it gave you a lot more this time around. Yeah, I gave you 30K, 20K, 10K, and 5K. TA points. So it gave you a lot more progress and that's why TA is a lot faster this time around. But that's the first step is to get those bronzes, those 73s, 74s, put them in. I feel like those are like the cheapest ones. It might not be anymore, but if you did it like two or three weeks ago, you're good. Otherwise, you guys spend more stubs this way. But I think you get your stubs back with all those packs that we get at the end, right? Next, you're want you're going to want to go to the very top where it says 2024 All-Star Missions. Do these missions, four strikeouts with the Orioles, 12,000. One strikeout with a Red Sox player, 12,000. Four total bases with Yankees, 12,000. One total base with the Rays, 12,000. And then four total bases with the Blue Jays, 12,000. If you do all five of these for each division, you will get your first boss. And you could do these in one or two innings. You can play, play versus CPU. Do these missions real quick and then quit out of the game. You don't have to play a full game or nothing. You can go in, get four strikeouts, one strikeout, four total bases, one total base, four total bases, and then quit out of the game anytime that you want, and it will count. For PXP missions, you got to stay in for at least eight batters on the offense. But I did some of these as well. These will get you some good ones. But the next thing, after you do exchanges, and then after you do all-star missions, and now it's just a grind versus play versus CPU. The conquest map gives you 30K. I did the AL conquest map, but it took me like two hours to do it for 30K for each division though, so 90K. But I'm telling you right now, you don't need to do that if you don't want to. The faster method, you're gonna go to general missions and you're gonna do repeatable missions, total bases with AL East players or whatever the division is, right? So. 24 total bases with those players, 10,000 XP uh, for TA, and it's repeatable. 15 strikeouts with those, those division players, and that's also repeatable for 10,000 TA points. 
Also, the live series version of each boss, if you just get five strikeouts with each of those live series versions or three hits with the hitters, you get another 5,000 TA. As you guys can see, I didn't do a lot of those. So that's really up to you. You could like double dip, uh, put those live series cards in your lineup when you're grinding the total bases and strikeouts. And you'll also get the additional 5K uh, XP for those as well. And then once you start unlocking bosses, these two at the bottom are not repeatable. So you get 24 hits with the bosses. You get another 15,000 TA, 15, TA points. And you'll just keep on going through that. That's all I did. I didn't do any of the extreme moments. I did the one conquest, but that's optional. I think it's faster if you just do the repeatable missions. And then you get TA done really, really fast. I didn't do any multiplayer missions this time around. Everything was play versus CPU. And I got it done super fast. We didn't do many seasons or nothing like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into those packs. That's how you guys complete Tim Infinity really, really fast. That's how we did it. And let's go ahead and open up these packs. But before we do, let me show you guys the collection. If you guys did not see it already, the All-Star Collection. We should have 30 cards now because we finished TA. We should get 99 Chris Sale, and we do. So now we got 99 Chris Sale and Emmanuel Clause. So now we'll just go ahead and collect those as well. So now we have 32 out of the 40. Obviously, you cannot get Aaron Judge yet because we don't have the rest of the All-Star content. The other All-Star content that we do have is in the event with Cole Reagans. And also Riley Green is also the other event reward. So that'll get us to 34, which is still not enough to get Tatis. We have to wait for the Home Run Derby and All-Star Game content to come out. And then we'll also get all of this stuff right here, including 99 Aaron Judge, 99 Shohei Otani, 99 Paul Skeens, 99 Fernando Tatis, and then obviously we just got the 99 Chris Sale and the 99 Emmanuel Clase. Now let's go ahead and open up these packs. If I get any diamonds, I will show you guys. If I don't get any diamonds, you probably won't see the pack otherwise of me talking right now. So let's go ahead and open up these packs and see what we get. All right, our first diamond, roughly around five or six packs in. Let's see who it's going to be. It is going to be a purple. But that's okay. It's going to be Chris Sale Live Series 88 overall. We'll definitely take that. Our second diamond halfway through the packs. Another purple. That's okay. We'll take Josh Naylor 85. Hey, we're getting a lot of like, uh, uh, what do you call it? All-star players. All right. So we got two diamonds out of 80, roughly around 80 standard packs. That's We beat the odds. Two out of uh, 80 packs is better than one out of 50. So we'll take that. We got 19 Ballin is a habit pack. So I expect about 19 golds, maybe 23 golds if we get double gold rounds. Other than that, we're probably just going to get like 20 golds out of this. So let's go ahead and find out. All right? No diamonds from the Ballin is a habit packs, but we got nine millionaire packs and then 10 headliner packs. We'll have to see what we get out of those. But first, we get a standard pack out of the first millionaire pack. That's probably going to be... A regular standard pack. Let's see if we get anything lucky. Another standard pack out of a millionaire. Come on. 3,000 stubs. Come on. Pack. Ooh. Come on. Nope. 3,000. And a ball and pack. That's probably our best pull besides the 3,000 stubs. Oh. All right. 10 headliner packs. Now, these are random headliner packs, so we got a bunch of random ones, starting with number 22. Number 23. Number 24. Nothing. Number 26. We got a gold. Number 27. Nothing. Number 27 again. Diamond in number 27. And it will be blue, so we pulled probably the headliner. Pablo Lopez, 93 overall season two. Did not have him. We got Pablo Lopez. All right. Number 29. Nothing. Number 30. And finally, a couple more number 30s. Nothing. And our last pack of the video, we get the Detroit Tigers. 
but nothing else anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys learn how you guys can finish team infinity a lot faster it's very very easy this time around we'll do another one for chapter three in a couple weeks be sure to like subscribe if you're new turn notifications on be sure to like follow share favorite if you guys are watching this on tiktok and i'll see you guys next time